So you've got um, Addison, who's nine, you've got Harley, who's seven, Kennedy, who's two, and Elijah, who's one. Yeah. And it's Kennedy that's your favourite. She is, yep. How did that happen? Um, I don't know, you know, I think, obviously, the other two were quite close together in age, and obviously, then you don't really get that one-on-one -on -one time with them. When Kennedy came along, um, the other two were in school, so I got those whole six hours together. I breastfed her, which I hadn't been able to do, like my other children. And I think because of that bond, it just, she just... But you said, but when you sat down a moment ago, uh, before we came back on telly, um, you said that Harley had been your favourite. Yeah, everyone would, would admit Harley was my favourite. I mean, she was, she was my gymnast. Addison was a really difficult baby. She had colic. She used to scream from 2 o'clock in the afternoon until 2 o'clock in the morning. She was really, really hard work. And I did find it really hard to bond with her, although we've got that bond now, but she's very, very different to me. She's very much like a dad and a nonna. She's... She likes art, she likes running. She isn't anything like me, whereas Harley, she's sporty. It feels like you're sort of cheating your children like your friendship circle. And the ones that you get on really well that you want to be friends with are the ones that you sort of give preferential treatment to. They, don't, they don't get preferential treatment. Although they're my favourite, they all get loved equally. Your they all, husband thinks so. <laughs> they all get... He, he works quite a lot, so he doesn't really see it as it is. I mean, he thinks that Kennedy obviously gets away with more, but then she's younger, so yeah. I'm not going to come down on a two-year-old the way I'm going to punish a seven- or nine-year-old. Yeah. And, I mean, the seven- and nine-year-old, they're at that pre-teen age, you know, and they bounce off each other. One will dare the other to see how far she can push us. And so, in that respect, she, Kennedy is just all-round nicer to be around. Um, the others have noticed this. Um, they say it, whether they really believe it is another story. I mean, they will say, oh, Kennedy's your favourite, but a lot of the time that'll come when Kennedy's your favourite because Kennedy can have a bar of chocolate, you don't like us because you won't let us walk to town on our own. You're and nine what do you years say old. to that? You're nine years old, I'm not going to let you walk to town on your own, do you know what I mean? If, if you what think... about the bar of chocolate? They could all have a bar of chocolate if they wanted, but they don't want to. They aren't... They're no longer in that stage where they want mummy, they don't want the cuddles, they don't want the... That sort of affection. Well, maybe the seven-year-old or the nine-year-old doesn't want cuddles for mummy because because she's too busy with Kennedy. <laughs> she knows that they know that you like like her better. If she is my favourite, yeah, definitely. But you do they they've heard you say those words as well. Your seven yeah. and nine-year-old have heard you say those. They words. They will say she's your favourite, and I will admit to them. I'll say yes. But do you I not do worry like about because I mean, for me, like. The alarm bells are in my head right now of actually what that will do eventually. I mean, you know, I know we're sort of giggling because it's sort of shocking and I think you react in that way, but actually that going in your head as a child and living with that inside and then that growing and becoming bigger, do you not worry about the impact that's going to I have on them? I think I would, but, I mean, we did sit down as a family before, like, I agreed to do all this. I sat down before I even agreed to do the um, piece in the Express and I said to them, look, what do you think? And they're like... Yes, you do spend more time with Kennedy. Yes, we think she's your favourite, but we know that you love us just as much. We get this, we get that. I mean, Harley, up until very recently, she did gymnastics. You know, we were paying out what you'd pay on a small mortgage for her to do sports. But love isn't measured in money, is it? You no, say they it get this and they get that. It's measured in time and attention. But they get time as well. They do get the opportunity to have time. You know, they get the opportunity for us to do stuff on our own. But they so don't the, want so the, is it. It's like a, a, a competition at home. But, uh, but Kennedy, obviously, she's she's uh, easy to get along with. She's nice. And she's the easier child. So she's your favourite. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so if uh, if Harley or Addison, you know, m maybe Im I I improved how you see the way they behave, the way they treat you, that maybe oh, you know, maybe you might be my favourite because you're behaving now. Well, no, because I've just got that different bond with Kennedy. Do you know what I mean? I have got such a bond with her. I'm not sure mm. if it's down to breastfeeding or... I, I met your uh, one-year-old, Elijah, earlier on. In fact, I had a, had a hold of Elijah, <laughs> who's, yeah, adorable. Uh, who's so adorable, <laughs> smiley <laughs> face. <laughs> You say you cried for days when Elijah was born. You couldn't. You couldn't even think of a name because I he didn't was a have boy. any boys' names now. Yeah, not had, at no, all. had nothing. You had to no. leave it up to when you. When we found out it was a boy, I was upset. Everyone was like, you know, obviously we've got three girls. They were like, oh, I bet you like dead hoping it's a boy. And I was like, no, deep down, I want another girl. How do you feel now about Elijah? Oh, I love him to pieces. He's a lovely baby, but. Again, his hard work is very... They are, though, one you <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> yeah, definitely, but... Jesse, are you not actually doing... I mean, if Kennedy's your favourite, are you not doing her more damage? Because her siblings, they were going to build a resentment towards her family. They don't, though, that's the thing. Kennedy... Yeah. Well, yeah, you'd say, yeah, I mean, hopefully it doesn't change, but they but are... They probably will. They are so close to Kennedy, like, they'll, they want to take her out, they'll take, they want to take her to the shop. You, they are so close to her. Do you believe, deep down, that Phil and I have a favourite? Do you believe that everyone who has I don't, children... 
I don't think everyone has a long-term favourite, but I think even on a daily basis, like whichever child's not like chucked the breakfast at the wall or whichever child's got dressed easier, on that day, they will be like the child that's behaved and deep down, yeah, I do think that like they will be the preference child for that day at least. Do you, uh, do you worry that by, being, by doing that piece in the paper and you come on here today and you said you had a family meeting and you all discussed it and that's all, you know, all well and good because they are nine, seven, two and one, that when they are older, that you will have done them all, for different reasons, a bit of damage? No, I don't think I will. I honestly don't. I think they're, they're just happy with how it is, do you know what I mean? They don't see it as a big deal. And maybe it's because they see Kennedy as a baby as well, like, they see that big age difference and they just think it's just natural because she's mm -hmm. a baby. And, you know, it might change as she gets older, you know? Who's to say she doesn't get a bad attitude and... And then like... you move on. It's a fickle motherhood. <laughs> <laughs>